There have been a lot of comments asking me how to tank for less inexperienced teammates. Here I got the perfect game to use an example and show you what you could do to increase your chance of winning the game, even when you are playing as a tank for less inexperienced teammates in solo rank. In this one I will be playing as Tigreal, and although he is not that popular as a tank anymore, he is still quite deadly if you manage to set up some great ult. There is a new meta strategy where the tank should go to the experience lane first. The idea behind this strategy is that you and the side laner will reach level 2 just by clearing the first wave and then together you can invade the enemy's buff. Just make sure to not buy the roaming boots until you clear the wave or else you will not gain the experience needed. I wanted to set up an ambush for the jungler, but once I saw that my team was fighting the river, I had to change my plan accordingly. On the other hand, our Cho lacks complete map awareness. I'm only going to point these things out to show you better that even as a tank, you can still change the outcome of the game even with less experienced teammates. If you want to maximize t damage output, use the first skill first and then drag the target towards its direction. As the tank, you want to try your best to keep the enemy away from the objectives so your jungler can take it without too much trouble. Remember that you can use flicker first before ulting, that gives less time to the enemies to react. I was planning to gank the bottom lane, but then I took into consideration our previous encounters so I thought that most likely we wouldn't accomplish much in the bottom lane, so I decided to go top instead. A godly Hanabi. It's a good idea to let your teammates know that they are in danger of getting ganked, but from what I have seen, that usually doesn't matter, they will still fall for the gank. XT I saw 1-1 one one coming, so I decided to ult, but if no one else was coming, I will have just retreated without using the ult.
It's always important to check the map before setting up a play. And I've seen many tank players landing the perfect 5 man ult, but they didn't even pay attention to the map to see if their teammates are even close or not. Fortunately, we had a decent mage to help us carry the load. Like I said, this is the perfect game that has all the elements that describe the title. Our jungler should just take the turtle now, instead of making this very risky play with very low reward. A very interesting match indeed. To protect our homeland is a knight's Just by looking at the map, you can see that my teammates are quite inexperienced and lack map awareness. I was wondering who had 05 in our team. Absolutely fascinating. I knew I alone couldn't kill her marksman, but I was trying to bait her and buy enough time for my teammates to show up. It makes a huge difference in the damage output when you're using the first skill first, then the second skill. Once I saw that their Balmo was dead for sure, I immediately turned around to go for the next skill. Now that we have the number advantage, we should definitely take the Lord, it should be a piece of cake. I saw that their Hanabi was split pushing, but nobody else from my team was recalling to defend, so I had no choice but to defend it myself. I have experienced many times that nobody will recall and then we will lose inhibitors for no reasons, that's why I didn't want to take that chance again. Our jungler doesn't seem to know that as the jungler, he is the one who is supposed to be taking the Lord. Well, at least the game has become a lot more interesting. Smiley face.
if we keep taking bad fights, we could end up losing very soon, so now we should just take smart engagement and not get caught off too easily. Just look at this Cho and his recall taunt. Well, I guess karma is real. You should ensure yourself on the map all the time. Just let your damage dealers clear the wave. As the tank, you want to catch the enemies off guard when they least expect it. That was good timing. Batman was half a second away from killing our marksman with his ult. If played properly, the tanks can completely change the outcome of the fight. At this point, it was really hard to end the game. So we should just take the Lord and not take the chance of getting wiped out while trying to end the game without it. As the tank, you want to provide as much vision as possible and not let the enemies get too close to the Lord unnoticed. But make sure that you don't die while making this play, because your team will need you for the push. Just be smart about it. Don't let the Lord go to waste, you have to initiate when the Lord is close to their base. Don't be afraid and just do it. I hope that in this video I was able to show you that even as the tank, you can do a lot more than you think even when you have so many experienced teammates. <laughs>